Hi everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if you've ever watched one of my readings before, one of my messages before, um, I'm a seer so I tap into past, present, future energies. I'm a psychic medium and I'm a healer and I'm an open channel for spirit. So whatever comes through, comes through in these messages. But chances are if you've been guided to this channel, you could be a twin flame because I am a twin flame myself. And so all my meshes currently are twin flame related. So I really hope you find the answers you're looking for. And this message will hopefully find you if it's supposed to find you. Because I've discovered that, you know, my meshes are not for everyone. So if you come across this message, there could definitely be a message for you. And I hope there is. So I begin all my meshes the same way. By calling in my beautiful divine support and protection for myself and for everyone who watches this message online. So let's do that first. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a clear message for the Twin Flame Collective. Archangel Michael, can I please ask you to surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protection at all times as I bring forward this message to the Twin Flame Collective. Can I also ask you, Archangel Michael, that you surround whoever watches this message online, surround them, their loved ones, their home and pets as they watch this message. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring that only clear and concise messages can come through for the twin flame's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. Okay. Let's, let's clear the energy and then we'll begin. A strange one tonight. Um, I'm hearing a song now. I'm pretty sure it's Mary J. Blythe. Blige. Is it Blige or Mary, Mary J. Blige? Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure what it's called. <coughs> I just heard the lyrics. So, no more fear. No more. Da -da -da -da. No more something, no more something. I don't always call no more fears. I, I don't really know the song. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Particularly, I don't know the song. I know it's by Mary J. Blige. I don't know if it's called No More Fears. That's the song I'm hearing. I don't know the words. I only know, I only, that's the only snippet I know. No more. I'm sure. Um, and I also saw a stretch limousine with a door being opened. So this could be a celebrity couple or someone, a couple is about to be celebrities. I'm just going to tap into energy for a moment and try and get some information before we start. Now I've got my Christ consciousness deck. I've got my um, ancestors and shaman um, journey deck. So there's definitely a lot of ancestral support for this um couple this person i've got my starseed deck 
I've got some love and relationship cards and obviously I've got the tarot to dig in a bit there and we'll get some zodiac dice at some point as well. Let's see what else we're going to come through before we begin. I just heard law of attraction. So this is powerful manifestors. The divine feminine may have used the law of attraction to win her masculine back over. And when I say win her masculine back, I mean the law of attraction as a divine feminine is what magnetizes your masculine, the other, you know, your masculine energy. In the 3D, obviously your masculine is always a part of you, but in the 3D, the law of attraction is what will magnetize and not just your person, but everything to you, all your manifestations. So not law of attraction, so some here with the law of attraction, somebody could be about to get everything they've ever wanted. If you've wanted to be in a stretch limousine or something, this definitely could be your... This could be someone's Cinderella story. <clears throat> I just heard some French here. Don't know where, where that came in, but... Somebody could be visiting France soon or have French origins. I just saw the Yves Saint Laurent symbol. <laughs> so I don't know if somebody is going to be shopping there or they love that brand. Because I just saw the YSL. Um, wow, okay. Straight to the top. Someone is going straight to the top. Now, I don't know what straight, straight to the top of this is. Straight to the top of the career ladder. Straight to the top of the charts, the music charts, the movie charts. I don't know. Is there the billboard charts? I don't know. what. Straight to the top. Oh, they just told me no more drama. And then they said the Mary J. Blige. So is the Mary J. Blige song called No More Drama? No more drama. I don't know where they, they just told me no more drama and the Mary J. Blige song came back into my head. So is that what that song's called? No more drama. No more drama. Perfect peace. Someone's going to find their perfect peace. Taking stock, someone's taking stock of their life. Somebody's seeing everything they didn't see before. Yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing like windscreen wipers. Like, shh, shh, shh. Somebody can see clearly. Somebody could not see the road ahead. Somebody could not see where to go. There, there was like two of wands. They could not see. And now the windscreen wipers are here clearing, clearing, clearing the screen so the person can now see clearly the road ahead. I just heard a terrific transformation. Somebody feels like they've been to hail and back. Sorry, that was <laughs> my tummy. I was never had enough dinner here. Like. I just heard the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> so I, don't know. I don't know where that came from. The proof is in the pudding. So something, somebody is going to prove to you through actions. They're going to, they're, you might say to this person, well, the proof is in the pudding. This person says, I want to make up to you. I want to fight for you. And you might say, the proof is in the pudding. If the proof is in the pudding, I'd be happy. I'd certainly eat through pudding all day to find the proof. <laughs> I love it. I love pudding. <laughs> 
Sadly, I just love food, which is not a good thing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm hearing um, Jim Carter. Time's a wasting. So I don't know whether this is, I'm sure it's Jim Carter sung that song, Time's a wasting. Now this could be the Divine Feminine saying, Time's ticking by here. Where are you, masculine? Time's a wasting. This couple could definitely have some sort of past life connections to Jim Carter and Johnny Cash as well. It's definitely been that kind of energy. Definitely starseed couple because I've told good starseed cards out. So let's see. Let's let's dig in a bit. I think I will begin with the Christ Consciousness deck. No, they're saying tarot first. Right, okay, we'll use tarot first and then we'll get the Christ Consciousness deck. Um, I had such an amazing meditation today. It was the most beautiful time. It was near it was nearly two hours. Ace of Cups and Justice when I split the deck. Justice for love connection. I love to start that. Start with those two cards. Um, and it's the most amazing. I, I've had so many wonderful past life memories, both awake and in my dream state. And um, but there was always I always had that one little missing puzzle piece, like, you know, um I know I've lived those so many amazing lifetimes and learned so much my soul has really covered a lot of ground let's call it let's put it that way and um i had one little puzzle piece i couldn't really figure out and today during my meditation i was working with archangel sandalphon and she was amazing she really opened up my mind to a lot of the things I, i'd forgotten about like you know things that was sort of missing from my my past life memories and it just made everything click into place and and gave me more of a sense of what i'm here to do this what i do now is a, just a tiny minuscule part of my actual journey and and i love i love this i love connecting with you guys via email as well and all the people that i connect with and do personal readings for and things i love all that it's truly special and I love doing these readings, but this is just a small part of my bigger mission here. And it was just really lovely to spend time with Archangel Sandalphon and um, some of my guides and everything. Um, Chariot jumped out the deck. I love when the cars just jump out, especially the, the movement ones. <laughs> um, so I think this is me being told to move on as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so basically I was starting to tell you this because I always, and a lot of other readers always say it as well, going within is the best way to find out about your journey and to find out more about your journey and definitely, I mean it takes practice but eventually when you're meditating regularly you do start to really find the answers you're looking for so that's what I was really wanting to say, going within is the best way to find, find out more about this about everything you want to know so somebody is on that chariot let's find out who and i just i know here keep on hearing that song time the wasting i think it was jim carter i'm pretty sure it was somebody's getting on a chariot and heading straight for a queen of wands well, that's the Queen of Wands on the chariot, but I do think it's someone on the chariot because the way the cards are sitting here, um, this is a masculine on a chariot heading straight towards a Queen of Wands. So let's see who is on this chariot, please. Okay, this person has been silent, they've not been saying much. This person has been definitely, um, I'm feeling two of wands hermit mode for a while, possibly a bit of hanged man energy. Um, this person is seeing things differently, seeing things from a, a very clear perspective. Seven of Swords. The, yeah, this person could definitely, um, this person could be healing from some sort of deceptive energy as well. I'll try and find out a bit more here. Why the Four of Swords and the Seven of Swords? Tell me, um, Four of Swords seven of swords i'm not going to focus too much so this is a king of pentacles 
that's now feeling victorious over defeating something deceptive here. This is a King of Pentacles who is now feeling elated, excited. They're on that chariot. They've overcome something deceptive here or someone deceptive. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Yeah, this masculine is coming in here very quickly, passionately. They are heading straight for their wish fulfillment here. And that we've actually got a pair right here on the table. This king is coming for his queen. The king of wands and the queen of wands have been coming out in every read, as has, has the king and queen of cups. So powerful, intuitive, emotional energy going through the collective right now. A lot of love, a lot of emotional breakthroughs, but also a lot of powerful, magical energy. And the nine of cups tell me this king of wands is making a beeline straight for his queen of wands. Definitely feeling victory over some sort of situation. Empress. Yeah. Now, as I say, remember I said the path was, the road ahead was blocked. They couldn't see out the windscreen. They couldn't see that it was Two of Swords, Two of Wands energy. It might have been... Mm -hmm. This person was, was... This person has been in love with their twin for a while, but they haven't been able to tell you. Was it because of an Empress energy here? Was it because of an Empress? They're just saying, see, there's the, the count. This person is in love with you. I don't know why he's not told you, though. There is an offer coming in. Some sort of, some sort of gesture of love. <laughs> this person's using, finally using their intuition. An old cycle closed out. This person has been not only working on themselves, improving their lives, they've been working to recover from some situation they were in. Tell me um, about this Seven of Swords. Queen of Swords and Ten of Wands. So this could have been, and right behind the Queen of Swords is the Queen of Pentacles. This could have been more than one feminine energy keeping this masculine stuck. It could have been a mother energy and an ex-wife, ex-partner, ex-girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> my nose is itchy. I'm trying to dub it. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, my hair is just drying from the shower and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and I'll be taking up the full, <laughs> full width of my camera soon. <laughs> um, Injustice again on the bottom. Justice for an emperor. Let me see. Was there? Is there two feminines here? This person is finally look. Six of Swords, Queen of Cups. That's me. Got counterparts out again. King and Queen of Wands. King and Queen of Cups. They keep coming out in every single read. Six of Swords. This is a couple who are magical, gifted, starseeds, powerful light workers of God who are also totally and utterly, especially gifted, but also completely and utterly in love with each other. And I feel this is just one of a number of powerful love stories that's coming into fruition right now. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, there's some, there's some new beginning coming in here in this new cycle. Yeah. Was there two um, feminine energies here with the Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles or was it the same energy just with this? Two different um, feminine energies keeping this masculine stuck. Five of Swords and Two of Pentacles. No, this was, I, I think the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles is the same energy. The Empress energy here. This is, yeah. I do believe this is someday a partner, a life partner, wife, something like that that has kept this person 
been a lot of conflict, anger, holding on to this person for financial gain. This is somebody who was coming in as the Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, so very much gold digger energy. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles is gold digger energy. This person, whoever this person was connected to, they did not want this person to be single and happy. They didn't know what they wanted them to constantly um, be turning away from their connection with you. They did not want this person to be single and able to move towards you. They were keeping them distracted from love. Distracted from love. I'm hearing it wasn't because this person doesn't have feelings for you because I feel this person loves you. Whoever this um this is this is like a a wife um that maybe they had to divorce or an ex-wife who who never really fully got out of their energy. You know, somebody who was always phoning them, texting them, constantly in their face, asking what they were doing, who they're seeing, um, that kind of energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but a, a major ending has happened here. A major ending has happened and it's bringing in this Nine of Cups. Yeah. This, there's something this masculine had to get himself out of a situation. Yeah, remember I said I felt hanged man energy. Being awakened. There was some, something kept this masculine stuck with this other energy. And I feel, you know, they were using kind of underhand tactics. But look, this masculine is manifesting happiness. Yeah, this is someone rushing in from your past here who loves you, very romantic, cannot wait to see you again. And just, um, I feel like, um, like I just feel someone want to squeeze you. Like this is somebody who they just miss, just giving you big squeeze, squeezy cuddles. You maybe give them big squeezy cuddles back. Because I feel like just beer hugs. This is someone who just really misses you. Has this person managed to get free of this energy completely? I mean, we saw the death card, so definitely with a major ending. Has this masculine... So... This masculine definitely has spent a lot of time grieving the loss of this connection. And I think it's because they realised that they were your divine counterpart. They realised, I think this person knows that they, if this person previously didn't know what a twin flame and a soulmate was, they know now. Look, Knight of Wands, Two of Swords. I told you something was keeping this masculine blind. Like, because I'm seeing this like windscreen wipers here, <laughs> the Two of Swords. Something was stopping this masculine coming in to bring some sort of um passionate offer of a new beginning with you. And it was whoever this other energy is. Yeah, look. Eight of Cups and Justice. This person has walked away from this situation. And it's brought um I think it's brought karmic justice into this situation. Yeah. Because I was explaining to you, I think it was in last night's reading, someone cannot get karma if you're still attached to them. So say for example, if you walked away from your person, they got their karma because they couldn't clear out their karmic debts from past lives. They couldn't clear out all the karma from their past life connections unless you um, set up your boundaries and walked away from them. But likewise, if your person chose to stay with a karmic which triggered your masculine's karma, their if their if their karmic or distorted feminine or distorted masculine um has done a lot of underhand stuff and they have to get karma for that they won't get their karma until your person actually walks away from them too because then it's your person's going to get their own karma and the distorted feminine's karma so your person, I think, when your masculine walked away from this um, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles energy, um, it triggered their karma as well. 
Eight of Swords. Ouch. Yeah, there's been a lot of mind games and manipulation over this masculine. Stopping him coming forward to offer you this love offer. But that definitely in the past, this person, this masculine has been searching, desperately soul searching here. And maybe he's feeling that time's a wasting. But he's he's done with the drama, that's why no more no more drama. This masculine could be coming in here with a huge offer and he could show up in a limousine or something to take you on a very special special trip somewhere. This could be like a very romantic, it could even be a, some sort of French trip because I was getting the French. I don't, don't know, but something, something here is very special about this connection. Yeah. This person regrets abandoning this connection and not fighting for it in the past. They they understand the connection now. This person knows, yeah. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> so the Three of Pentacles just dropped on the table. You saw that. And the Nine of Swords is here. So this masculine really has been in his head a lot as well. Ace of Pentacles. They've been in their head. They've been feeling really guilty. Yeah, I feel this person has had some sort of health issues as well. Possibly related to anxiety for the situation they ended up getting stuck in. Yeah, King of Swords and Seven of Cups. This King of Swords is seen through the illusions. They're seen, they're seen through all the, the BS now. I don't realize I'd pulled out the Hierophant as well and the star cards here as well. So this is a very powerful starseed spiritual union. Um, both healers, both starseed and the strength cards right behind that. <coughs> Strong starseeds, powerful in their wisdom, but also very powerful, loving light energies to the world. Don't know why they're telling me to. <laughs> Maybe giving away too much of this masculine's plan. <laughs> oh my goodness. This just jumped to the deck. Wheel of Fortune. There's not much more to say. This is a beautiful, and um, I split the deck on Six of Wands. So, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Wands. That's a lot of Leo energy as well. And I split the deck again on Six of Cups. This is a destined reunion. This is a destined union, destined reunion to happen. Now, between two powerful star sheets. And I split the deck on Six of Wands again. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is past life soulmates and the Seven of Pentacles. This is past life soulmates who yeah, God is saying now is the time here, and I just split the deck, and oh, the the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, I don't know if you can see that, all these cards just literally fail out as I split the deck, Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles, King of Cups, so there's definitely a new beginning coming in here for this couple, Defa, definitely. Uh, yeah, just the two of wands and seven of cups, yeah. This masculine was stuck. Stuck in a, a loop. They were stuck in a deceptive loop. Yeah. But victory over the illusions. There was some sort of deceptive cycle. This ma now, this masculine... I hate to say this, but this masculine could have been stuck in this karmic loop, this karmic cycle for 10-15 years um, and sadly so many masculines and feminines are because it's like they don't understand that they have to stop the pattern, they have to move away from that karmic energy or they'll keep having the same cycle of karma over and over and over again and I feel this is what's happened to this masculine in the past. Let's get some Christ Consciousness cards now and find out a bit more about this um, this masculine's journey so far and the kind of help he's getting here from 
um, possibly Lord Jesus, but also definitely getting a lot of guidance and support here from the Divine and all the Archangels. And then we'll find out about the Starseed, the Starseed origin for this couple. Yeah, okay. Can I get some guidance please? on this masculine on his journey so far what what has he been focusing on this is i just knew this card was going to come out so either this queen of pentacles queen of swords has been using children to keep this masculine stuck a child children or this masculine is definitely working on their inner child healing their own inner child now this card can also be a sign that this person is going to be a positive influence for other young people so once this masculine's healed his own inner child i mean he might be trying to be a really good father to a child right now as well um because we've got to remember so many masculines stay in their situation because of their children and i know um somebody said before oh it's not right they should stay there just for children no it's not right but good fathers good mothers they will make those kind of decisions to to save the you know the relationship breaking down or whatever but i think this person if there's children involved they're definitely figuring out how to not be with their karmic partner and still be with their children but I, I, i'm not saying there is definitely children here i just this card can definitely signify because i know that um the karmic feminine i picked up in the tarot she was using something underhand over her masculine and that's why the, when the masculine walked away from from her that's when um justice can come in so i don't know where this masculine is just healing his inner child or if he's actually working on a father, he's maybe taking custody of his kid or something like that. Let's see. Let's see, can I get a bit more about why this is the first card out, please? Ooh, too many. Sorry, I have to make feel it when the table. I couldn't, I couldn't take all of those. Right, forgiveness. It sets you free. Now I'm just I'm looking at this card here because this could be definitely to do with the masculine's childhood. Then the masculine could be needing to forgive a parent, um, or someone from his childhood here possibly for holding him back. I mean the the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords could have been his own mother because with the Empress coming out. So again, another card of baby. So I know this is all about um, being a wisdom bringer and the air school card, but it's just there's a baby on it. So there's something maybe this masculine has to forgive a mother figure for from his childhood. And that's what's affected him so badly. There could be a mother figure here. That could be why with the Empress. And, um, there's something about forgiving something from childhood, but this masculine is now learning he is now learning to be in air school like we all are every day is a school day in air, in air school right we're, we're, not, we're always learning we're constantly um thriving and learning and looking to learn more i mean I, there's never I, I don't feel there's never enough hours in the day for me because i'm always thinking oh i need to read up about that i need to research that um there's always something new to learn and that is the beauty of that's the beauty of learning isn't it there's always something new to learn so this masculine i feel is a wisdom bringer but he, he's here for something very specific which i'm going to get the started origin stake for that so this is the energy the masculine's in right now taking time out to meditate and allow themselves to connect and I can't tell you enough, guys. You heard me talking about it earlier. Meditation and prayer is the best way to connect. I mean, I'm saying prayer as well because that's really how I... Oh, sorry, I keep on burping. Every time I drink water, I burp. That the, the prayer is how I 
that's how I begin my meditation because that immediately puts me in a beautiful, clear, open kind of um, space where I'm, you know, where I'm opening up to my faith and to God. And then that kind of sets a beautiful stage then for my meditation. So I'm not saying prayer is essential for meditation, but it certainly helps me. Um, it's a good way to do both pray, pray and meditate at the same time. But this masculine is definitely in that energy right now. So I definitely feel this masculine is working heavily with um, Jesus Christ at this time. I do feel, and I should have written down some of the quotes today because during my meditation I was told to read Thessalonian. Um, so 1 Thessalonian, um, 1 Thessalonian 1 to 5, um, chapters 1 to 5. And then I have got 2 Thessalonians to read tomorrow. And in 1 Thessalonian, it's all about the people who are awake can be reunited with Jesus very soon. The people who are awake from their slumber will reunite with Jesus in the kingdom, kingdom of heaven. And I feel this masculine definitely has some sort of powerful connection, um, you know, to Jesus because I, I've just, that just came to my mind there about 1 Thessalonian and it was all about Paul's letter. Um, and then Paul's letter, he's explaining that the people who are awake from their slumber, people who are awake will get the chance to reunite with um, Lord Jesus in the kingdom of heaven, only those that are awake. And it, that's in the Bible. And I thought that's basically kind of the situation we're all in now. We're starting to wake up. We're starting to understand things a bit more. So as I say, I've still got to, um, I've still got to read 2 Thessalonians tomorrow. But if anyone's interested, that's a good, a good um, section to read through. Um, so song, celebrate, celebrate and express yourself. I absolutely love because this is this is a powerful shaman card as well. And I obviously have the, the shaman's journey cards out here for a reason. So this masculine definitely could be experiencing some sort of shamanic journey energy right now. And I love this card so much. One of my favourite cards ever. The Holy Grail, Sacred Union. And I don't need to say it because I say it in all my readings, but the Holy Grail is here. The Holy Grail is within all of us. And it's only when I fully understood what it meant when it said, you know, we are offering you the Holy Grail. And you would you think it was something physical, like a goblet or something, but it's not. They're they're giving you the opportunity to accept the Holy Grail within yourself. So this couple, they have some sort of sacred union here, but this sacred union is the Holy Grail to this couple. They are each other's Holy Grail. So this card, this masculine is definitely went through some sort of ego death. Now this card is about turning your anger into power. Um, this, this card is about, you know, when you're angry or frustrated in a situation rather than sitting and just being angry and frustrated, turn it into power and make the change necessary. So you can see on this card, this is somebody who's crying because the tree has been cut down and they're just sitting on the tree crying and feeling angry when really they can make a change and try and make a stand and try and stop the trees, the other trees being cut down. So it's kind of that energy like, yeah, get angry, but also be the change that you want to see. So the Magi, it says signs and divine timing. So divine timing is definitely playing a huge part in this connection. Um, but also usually it's, usually that's a sign that the masculine is waiting on a sign to return. So honestly, divine feminines, it is so true. Um, I know you all get fed up and you're <laughs> I know you all say it to me in your emails, 
you're fed up waiting and I mean for a start we shouldn't ever say we're waiting because we're not waiting we're moving on with our lives we're we're getting our own ish together we're dealing with our own business taking care of our families doing whatever we have to do we should never be waiting but I know from all the emails I've had from Divine Feminines oh we're so tired of we're never hearing from them and we're getting really tired and lonely and I know it is hard and I sympathise, trust me, I sympathise because I feel the exact same way. <laughs> but I can tell you the masculines cannot return to you. It's not you. Trust me, it's not anything you're doing because you're all doing things right. They cannot return to you until everything is in place. Their karma's gone. They've closed out their karmic contracts with their their friend groups they're you know they've had to walk away from karma they cannot bring drama and the start of this reading the song is no i'm all about no more drama i think because <laughs> i don't really know the song <laughs> but i think it is because my guys told me it is. so this person is saying no more drama they are ready to come back to you because now there's no more drama now this person has dealt with drama um could have been in with some mother figure um, love thy neighbour, of course. Love thy neighbour. Always be willing to help out someone and always. And I I always say, you know, if somebody who who betrayed me or wronged me um, ever, you know, came to me and said, I really need your help, I would, I would help in a heartbeat. I wouldn't think twice about it because... You know, I have, can only be me. So, obviously, if you need to help your neighbour or anyone else in your community, it's important you do that. Acts of service is very, very important, especially if you're a starseed, which I believe you are. So, it says, um, refreshing, sorry, it says, relieving suffering, move beyond the pain. So, this card is all about saying RIP to the past. So this masculine is definitely saying RIP to the past, which is another um, phase of the ego death as well. And the fact we've got freedom right after the, say, RIP to the past and then the freedom card. So this masculine has been set free from the past here. They've definitely walked away now. This That's why this person can come, come back to you now, because if they were dealing with a lot of drama with this mother figure, this empress energy, they could not return to you until that was closed out. You definitely might have to forgive this masculine as well. I think there's something about this masculine's childhood, definitely. Oh, excuse me. Oh, what's this one? So, non-judgment, reflection and projection. Yeah. This masculine's been dealing with a lot of... Um, now, this masculine, because when I said you might have to... Um, forgive this masculine too. There could be forgiveness in both parts here because that card is gen genuinely to say you've both been projecting and been judgmental towards each other, which is very common in twin flame connections because you do, you can't help it. You tend to project and um, judge each other because you're mirroring each other all the time. So the more you do it to them, the more you get it back. And then it's just a constant ping pong of um, mirroring each other so that's why when you turn that around and you see only love for yourself so when you look in the mirror and you see only love for yourself and you love every single part of you even the bit of the view where you go oh I don't really like my double chin because I, I used to do that all the time I have got my double chin and you know and I don't like this don't like that now you look in the mirror and you only see yourself as beautiful and you love all the things about yourself that you would before would have sort of turned around and went, oh. But now when you start to look at yourself in a different way, that is when the alignment starts to happen. When you start to see yourself in a whole new light and realise your worth, your self-worth and how amazing you truly are. Community. Yeah, there's something here in this community with you guys. This masculine could have been dealing with a very judgmental community around them as well, like the community they were in, of friends, family. Yeah. This person could have been dealing with a very judgmental mother figure or judgmental family. 
you know, kind of spiritual haters kind of energy. Okay, do you have anything else before I move on? And I'll get some energy. Spiritual awakening and resurrection. So yeah, this masculine, he's, he's waking up. And the thing about Paul, and I was just talking about Paul actually, which was amazing, I was just talking about Paul. Paul was not was not a believer. Paul did not believe in the this the spiritual side of things that the Lord Jesus did and the disciples. Paul was totally um nonchalant about it. He did not want to believe anything. And then he went through a spiritual awakening himself and became one of Lord Jesus' greatest allies. So this person could have been very judgmental of spirituality and things at some stage as well um, because I know Paul was and now he's the one that's writing letters about saying about people only people who are awake from their slumber will be will be reunited so it explains maybe why I was told to read 1 Thessalonians today and Paul and Jesus have come out on the same thread so this masculine could have definitely have connections to Paul. Um, if I'd had my past life deck out here, it would have been interesting to see if the Bible card had come out and the Asia card, because generally that's a sign for me. Um, yeah, I think the communal living as well is generally a wee sign for me that's connected. So let me see. Will we move on? Let's move on. Again, the shaman energy here at the bottom. So I'm, I've got the shaman's oracle deck. And we'll read through some of that. But let's get some starseed information first. Now I'll get um, some ancestral um, cards in a second. Hello, our little orb just popped by to say hello. So I know it's funny. Sometimes we have camera shy orbs. <laughs> they just like to hang around here, so which is nice. Oh, just when I saw that today during my meditation, I had a beautiful hunchback whale um come towards me in my third eye. So I felt truly honoured today. So I'll need to do another um healing session with the the whale elders as well because that, that's my favourite kind of healing session. So let's see. One more shuffle, and then we'll find out. What kind of what kind of starseed energy we're working with with this couple? Let's see. Ooh, that dropped out fast. Child of the cosmos. Powerful energy straight away dropped out of the deck there. So it says the intelligence of the cosmos lies within you. So this couple, honestly, they have so much power and intelligence wisdom, healing abilities. Now when I say power, that always sounds like a scary thing because in this world, people who have had power abuse it. When I'm talking about power, I'm talking about power to change, to heal, to bring love and light and to heal the earth, heal the world. Not the kind of power that we've been used to, power hungry people who are trying to take from the already poor and make other people richer or trying to destroy as much of nature and things by, you know, this, I'm talking, this is not the kind of power I'm talking about. I'm talking about the power of love, the power to change people and show people there is another way to live and it's not through materialism or throwing throwing dirt in the face of your enemies it's about bringing love to the situation that's the kind of power i'm talking about because i always feel like i use the word word power and powerful a lot and sometimes i think i don't really like the word power and powerful because it's it's meant quite negative things and had negative connotations over the world for so long but i when i use power i talk about power for the power of positivity power of positive change people who are waking up now who are coming into their gifts they have the power 
an ability to make a positive impact on the world through their healing, through the sharing their light and love with other people. And even, even now, I feel a shift. I feel a, a actual, and I'm sure many of you watching this will totally know what I'm talking about. I feel this beautiful positive shift happening in the collective energy. And it's like I feel the momentum building every day. And it's beautiful and nature reflects it. Um, when I go out walking, I feel it. I just feel the change. I feel that beautiful energy coming through. So it's working. Divine feminine, divine masculine. There's something beautiful happening. And it's it might not be visible to us all right away, but the change is coming. I feel that star brothers. So this masculine is one of a group of powerful souls here for a very particular mission. So it says Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety and trust. This masculine is highly protected here because they are definitely part of a, well, <laughs> they're definitely part of a very, um, yeah, look, a part of a team of souls who have been sent here for something very important. So it says you're part of a team, yeah. You're part of a team of souls. Call in the support. This Matthew is a very powerful star brother who's here. Um, I mean, child of the cosmos, star brother and star family. Those three cards alone tell you the strength of this masculine's connection to the entire universe. Not just to... That's why this masculine had to walk away from this 3D situation because he is needed so much lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You are, you've done this before. Yeah, look, now this is very Atlantis energy for me, but this masculine starting to remember. His soul gifts are returning. He's starting to remember exactly who he is. That's why the windscreen wipers, I keep going back to them. The windscreen wipers are clearing, clearing the path here. They're, his memories are coming through. Oh. oh, sorry. I'm sure there's another one right somewhere too, but I think that was a no. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I might have lost one, but I don't know where that went. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. This is all about surrendering to the universe. And this masculine has definitely, definitely done that. He has surrendered to the universe um, and that's what we all have to do because the universe knows best. Karmic relationship, yeah. Chiron energy, polarity, soul growth and conflict. Now this masculine definitely had a karmic relationship that he had to clear away in this lifetime. And it was because this masculine could not get on their mission here until this karmic relationship had been completely put to rest. Um, but we saw with the RIP card, this masculine has done that. They've definitely moved away from a karmic situation. Now, where, where they had children with this person or where this was their own mother figure, um, they've, definitely ha they've definitely cut some sort of cords here. Your life is a canvas, artist, manifest, manifestations and creative accountability so this masculine could be an artist of some kind but this is all about creating your own life manifesting your own life and i told you right at the start that this couple were powerful manifestors because i saw um i heard the law of attraction so this couple are definitely powerful manifestors i just knew this card was going to come out messenger of god yeah I think this is disciple energy for me as well. So, so it says serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. Now, this is someone who is like um, like the way the seraphims would sit, you know, side by each side of God. Um, this is like um. For me, when that card comes out, this is like 
like you know almost like Archangel Michael energy where they are carrying out specific orders and vows they've made to God at one stage on their soul journey and they are now here to carry out that that mission for God yeah so the seven star sisters birthing a new creation tapestry of life expression now this masculine could be very creative as I say with her voice singer artist um but there's something here that this masculine is creating very beautiful in the world and I think it could be with their feminine I think we're both I mean you've got to remember these cards I'm pulling here for the masculine the masculine is um, part of this star brothers um but the, the feminine will generally be there's another card about being birthed in your school as well and called right behind that this masculine it was called to earth in this lifetime for a very specific reason he was born in this lifetime for a very specific journey weight of the world yeah ten of wands this masculine's been carrying ten of wands for a long time cracked open it's it's yeah cracked open it says hitting rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life this masculine's definitely hit rock bottom recently big picture thinking this masculine's getting a lot more downloads and seeing things from a different perspective but i feel like he's also getting downloads on um his journey and lots of past life memories now you've got to remember the masculine's ascension does go very fast see when like divine feminines we can be working on our ascension for for two years sometimes longer depending on how quickly some people move with their their um spiritual journey we all ascend at different times and things um and also the how long your healing process takes but masculines it's accelerated everything's faster for them so they will things that this the divine feminines have taken a while to figure out masculines get probably double triple the downloads a feminine gets because they're plain catch up effectively so reveal this masculine wants to reveal something i want to tell you the truth tell me what this masculine wants to tell their feminine here The, this this can be one this could person could be want to reveal to you that they want to spend the rest of their life with you which yes I'm getting that is definitely what they want to do now I've, at first I thought is it they want to reveal to you that they're in a commitment but no they want to reveal to you that they want to spend the rest of their life with you anything else that's masculine third party so there could have been this could also be they wanted to reveal to you that there was a commitment with a third party as well so not only does this person want to reveal to you they want a forever with you <laughs> but they want to reveal that there, there could have been a, a commitment with a third party as well So that that that's card's got a two a two meaning there. They want to reveal to you that they want to commit to you, but also they want to look. They want to reciprocate and bring balance back to this connection. They regret not telling you how they felt before. Responsibilities, yeah. I'm putting that on the third party card. There's definitely been family responsibilities here that's kept this masculine stuck. That's why they feel they neglected you. They neglected this love because of they were yeah they were definitely trapped in a situation here. Escape. They've been trying to find figure out a way to escape from a situation they get trapped in. Unworthy. You're a better person than me. This this person's confidence has certainly held them back as well. Yeah. The damage I've caused. This person knows they've done a lot of damage to this connection in the past. Forgiveness. Yeah. And we got the forgiveness card. 
um, in the Christ Consciousness deck, so forgiveness is going to be necessary here. The Law of Detachment is what's bringing this back in, so either you detach feminine or this masculine had to detach from you. You both maybe detach from each other, which has to happen. It had, there's no other way. There's no other way to bring in union unless you detach. And um, I hate I hate magging on about the same thing over and over again. <laughs> but I, I just know from a lot of people who email me who are still in contact with their twin and which I know it's difficult to let go of them. It is. It is difficult to let go of them, especially when you haven't heard from them for months and months and months and months and months and months, and months. some people years and years and years. It's difficult. But detachment is really the only way because if you're still talking to your person, they're never ever going to leave their karmic situation. And that's the truth of it. Um, so it will be a cycle that will continue to go on and on and on and on. Um, it's, you know, it's, um, your connection is inseparable. This masculine now knows, they understand, it says, our love is always there despite the distance between us. This masculine understands this connection now. They do. They understand this connection. And they're not losing hope. They still hope that you can forgive them. Time's a wasting. <laughs> I, I'm afraid it's too late to take action. This is what the masculine has been afraid of. That it's too late to take action. That <laughs> yes. That they've wasted too much time. But they had to figure this out. They had to stay. They maybe had to stay without a karmic partner until the child was 16 or something, until the child was the legal age to choose who to live with or something like that. Yeah, it could have been something like that. They could have had to stay in a situation, um, even though they love you, until they had taken care of the child involved in the connection. Yeah. This is your runner. <laughs> I don't want to run anymore. That's a good sign. We have unfinished business. We still have a lot to, to talk about and discuss. Um, give me one more card. I was unsatisfied in my current situation. So this person, when they met you, they may not have told you the full story. They may have told you they were separated and they probably were separated from their, their partner. Um, the mother of their children but yeah I told you this person's understanding this connection now but they maybe never told you that how still connected they actually were to their ex this could have been an ex who just kept on going back to you know like a comfort blanket but when maybe when they met you they were unsatisfied and that is what led them to you in the first place let's see oh it's too many Okay, well we said they've got I've got to take them. So under un, unappreciated, they know they didn't appreciate you when they had you in their life. They've been holding back their love from you and it's because of their responsibilities here. Well, like soul contract, reunion and mend. There is some sort of reunion coming in here for you and this person. If you can forgive, this person has been deep in regret. Um, because we did see the five of cups and we saw the nine of swords so this person I don't think actually betrayed you as such they just they just could not leave a karmic situation yeah a new chapter's coming in after a long period of confusion yeah a new chapter's coming in for this connection new phase new cycle we saw the the world card um, let me get some shaman cards on this. I'm going to put on my glasses again and then I'll get a little message from your person and we're over the hour every time. So let's see. Can I get some energy of um, which shamanic 
um, healing spirits are with this masculine and what spirit or the ancestors are want to come through and they're working with this masculine because this masculine is a very needed spirit of nurture definitely something to do with mothering energy here this masculine definitely has a lot of mother wounds yeah definitely um that's what kept him i think attached so attached to his ex as well ancestor protection i told you powerful protection here from ancestors definitely powerful protection this this masculine is from a very old soul group of some kind so the shaman of foresight this masculine is a seer he has seer abilities, some sort of prophet, oracle, sees snippets of the future. Yeah, he's been given the gift of foresight by his shamanic ancestors. That's amazing. Spirit of challenge. This is the card to say that um, the Holy Spirit has been helping this masculine overcome all the challenges that have been holding them back. Yeah, overcoming all the hurdles. Ancestors of knowing this masculine is, I'm telling you, this masculine is going to be world known. This is going to, this is world platform energy here. This masculine is going to have so much powerful wisdom and knowledge all um, inherited to him through his ancestors who are heavily protecting this masculine. The Shaman of Sorrows, this is the shamanic healer spirits here coming in to heal this masculine's broken heart, childhood wounds, healing any sorrows or emotional damage that's been caused to this masculine. Spirit of healing, yeah. Not only has it got the shamans healing him here, he has Holy Spirit. Spirit guides, they're all healing this masculine well. Beautiful energy coming through. The ancestor of hope. <laughs> so that's the second time we've seen hope. This masculine, um, I just keep on hearing no more drama. Let's get rid of the drama. Let's have hope. Where there is love, there's always hope. And there's huge love here. Like my table is just, there's just love sprinkled over it. Little, little fairy dust as well. I'm sure this masculine's connected to the fae because I'm feeling fairy dust. Magical energy. Magical energy coming through for this couple. I mean, as I say, I'm picking up on masculine energy, but the masculine is the other half of the feminine. So <laughs> this, um, the hunter of vision, this is the masculine being pushed to search out what no longer serves them, search out their passion, what drives them forward. This is to hunt out whatever they seek. Ancestor, the ancestor of tribes. Oh my goodness, I've never had that card out. That card is, this is like an ancestor who is bringing in this masculine soul group. But not only that, this masculine is going to be some sort of leader of numerous soul groups and soul tribes. Yeah, the ancestors are bringing in this masculine soul tribe. Shaman of the stars. Oh, so much powerful cosmos energy through this masculine. Oh, journeyer. This masculine is definitely on some sort of shamanic journey. This card is symbolic of going on some sort of shamanic healing journey right now and boundaries and the spirit of love. So the spirits, um, Holy Spirit and the spirit guides and stuff are bringing this masculine back to point zero. Unconditional love. That is where we all want to be. Reset back to zero. 
back to unconditional love for everything and knowing that we are all one collective energy here who is connected through a bond of unconditional love that is what so when you when you return to zero and you start again and you go through your spiritual awakening that is you starting over at point zero so the shaman of birth yeah just as i'm talking about that this masculine has been born again into his natural um soul's state of being which is just pure light and love that is what when your soul heals or when you heal from your spiritual journey that is your soul is literally it's just love and light and this masculine has been reborn into the light So spirit of wisdom, this masculine's got powerful wisdom here as well. And spirit of empowerment. So this masculine's been given a gift here by spirit, the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of empowerment. And they are gifts that are given to this masculine through spirit, through God. So this masculine has so, so much going on here. And I can understand why he's saying time's a wasting, but he needs to understand that this is a very important time. And I just saw 1, 11, 11. So powerful master numbers. And I just saw the companion card. So the companion card is this masculine has a constant um, guide, which I think numerous guides. He has like his own personal um, shamanic guide, his own personal um angel guides whatever this is basically his own personal guides of some kind so let's get a no communication card to finish so let's see a couple of messages from this masculine to close out this reading please and thank you Ooh. 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 <laughs> the cards are just flying everywhere okay that makes sense this person maybe told you they were single and separated from this partner, but they weren't. So if you weren't really seeing much of your person, maybe one day a week or something, or this person might, might have been living a double life. Yeah. Spiritual awakening. Okay, get a couple more please and I'll read through them. But this last one wants to see. Okay, right. Um, I want to change, but I was surrounded by toxic people who keep me stuck. Um, so this person definitely wants to start over. Um, I'm getting closer to God right now. I need to discover the real me. So this person is working heavily with spirit. Uh, so it's working, working with God, working with the angels, working with ancestors. So our love will never die, no matter who comes between us. So this masculine now understands that this is a powerful connection that cannot be severed um i collaborated i collaborated against you i made the wrong decision now that card comes out when your person just chose to side with another party against you um i lied about being single i wish i was so this person was if they told you they were separated from their child's mother or something they lied i want to give you the world and more every time i get a notification on my phone i hope it's from you I feel alone and isolated in this toxic situation. So this person definitely has went through a dark night of the soul while they were in that connection. Now, as we saw the tower, this person has walked away from that situation. They made me confused about us. I know that now. So this person they were dealing with did confuse them over whether they should be with you or not. I am going through a spiritual awakening. Please be patient with me. My guilt is weighing me down and keeping me awake at night. And I, I remember the remember, oh sorry, remember the three of pentacles dropped down and it was just the nine of swords. And I said this person isn't sleeping because they feel so guilty for their actions in the past. My health is not good. I did feel that as well. This person was going through some sort of health issue and it was to do with it. now when I was shuffling, I also saw um I'm getting chest pains at the thought of losing you. And remember I said this person health could not be good and it could be to do with anxiety and burdens um my life is chaotic i can't do this right now so this person has been dealing with a lot of drama and that's why they're now 
returning to you um, because of their saying, you know, I've got no more drama. So I do feel this person has been dealing with so much drama and chaos. When I feel sad, I just think of your eyes and smile with so much love for me. So your energy is what keeps this masculine going. My divorce is almost final, jumped out the deck. So your person is definitely closing out a cycle with their karmic here. I sabotaged the only good thing in my life. So they know they sabotaged their connection with you. I keep writing you messages and deleting them again. Anything else? No one has ever loved me the way you do. And I struggle to recognise it. I'm getting closer to God jumped out again. So this masculine is definitely working heavily with God. Will you be mine forever? One more message, please. One more. One more message. Just one more to close out this reading. One more, please. <sighs> too much what did it oh man, i can't believe i started this talking about mary j blige song no more drama and this card says too much drama around me i'm trying to protect you this masculine is trying to protect you from all the drama my karmic ex won't let me go oh i am terrified of opening up emotionally to you i said one more and i'm still going because there's some i feel there's something this masculine wants to say I never cry. My emotions are always kept hidden. I don't love them. I love you. So this person, yeah, they're just saying every time I get a notification on my phone again and the card I keep seeing, look, my chest aches when I think of losing you forever. This person, they are dealing with a lot of anxiety. I am falling in love with you despite my protests when I split the deck. So there we have it, folks. There is a masculine here who loves you. They're dealing with a lot of drama, but they are fighting their way back to you. I feel that they're going through a spiritual awakening. They're fighting their way back to you. They're, you can see by the reading they're dealing with a lot of beautiful, powerful ancestors and shamanic healers, angels, God. No need to worry about them, okay? So I'm going to do what I do every night lately. I'm going to ground in this beautiful energy to make sure we send loving intentions, not only to this couple I pick up on in this reading, but to you guys at home to go on with the rest of your day and be blessed with the Holy Spirit. So let's do it. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Thank you for this time together. As we all move ahead with our day, would you go ahead of us, dwell within us, shine through us, blessing all who cross our path. God of hope, would you fill us to overflowing today with the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Take care. Namaste.